Amen. Amen. We are about to enter into a time of worship. Amen. I want you to let yourself go. Open your heart as we worship our maker this moment. Amen. Amen. We love you, Lord. All glory and honor be unto your name, Jesus.
so much for me I cannot tell it all There's somebody grateful in this place If I had ten thousand tongues It still would be
I felt it when I walked here. I felt it when I walked here. Are you feeling it? Please, I want you to take out your phones. It's not for Instagram, please. No Twitter. Please, go into your phones. Go to WhatsApp. Send a broadcast. Invite somebody to this presence right now. Send a broadcast. Say, join us. Just say, join us. Junction Mall. Faith Life Church. Watch night service. That simple text could change somebody's life. Do it right now. Broadcast. Today, if you don't like broadcast, today you are also GBC. Broadcast something. If you are watching us live on social media, on our pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, you're welcome to the Faith Life Church Watch Night Service. It's running until we will get tired and then we'll go home. Uh, I have a confession. Please, I have never done this thing before. So forgive me. May they show her my mom is so. In fact, I think that I learned something last week, right? That everywhere you go, you need to ask for oil. And since I will be talking... I want your oil. So, before prayers, I will take my prayers right now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your hand and pray for me. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Commit this to the Lord. Commit it to his presence. Thank you very much. Now, you know, in everything, you have an elder that would always welcome everybody to, when you visit their home. And I want to invite our church elder, Mr. Emmanuel Kojo Eje, with a big round of applause. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Rudy, for inviting me in. Yeah, today I'm going to be a co-MC. My name is Emmanuel, as has been mentioned. And I welcome all of you to this beautiful evening, 31st December 2020. Amen. I welcome all Face Black Church members to this function. I welcome all our guests who are already here to this function. And I welcome all of you who are on Facebook watching us live to this occasion. Thank you for coming. Thank you for tuning in. And I believe you are going to have a wonderful time this evening to welcome year 2021. Amen. Now, if you need any assistance, the ushers are around. For instance, you want to go to the washroom, you don't know where it is. The ushers are around. Approach them and they will help you in any way possible. Recently, I received a guest from Europe. And when we met upon his arrival, as usual, I welcomed him. And to my surprise, he said he wanted to respond in chi. And I said, okay, then respond, welcome. Then he said, akwaba. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I also tell you or inform you or welcome you by saying akwaba. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, this is a night not just of music, not just of uh, enjoyment, reveling. I can't. I'm, I've forgotten myself. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Are you here with me? I am here. Are you here? Great. Please, at all times, try and keep on your mask. Uh, we must observe all pro uh, COVID protocols if you need hand sanitizers. There's a lot. If you think mosquitoes are coming at you, please, we've got uh, mosquito repellents all over. Ask any usher. They'll be able to help you. But I think it's time for Nana to bring down the heavens and open it up. Nana, to lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the last time we are going to be, be seeing ourselves in the year 2020. Amen. Shall we please be upstanding as we give honor unto the Lord tonight? Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 103 verse 10 to 12, He had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above over the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far had he removed our transgressions from us. Amen. You and I can testify that the Lord has dealt with kindly with us in this year amen many were the plans of the enemy concerning our lives but god has kept us up until now you want to lift up your hands you want to open up your mouth you are saying father in the name of jesus tonight take all the glory only you deserve it only you are worthy of all our praise as we lift up our voice we are saying lord jesus uh, take all the glory in our midst uh, the bible says uh, but thanks be unto god who gives us the victory in christ jesus tonight we are saying uh, father we thank you uh, for giving us victory over every plan of the enemy. Father, we thank you for giving us victory. We bless your holy name as a people, as a church. Tonight, oh God, we are gathered to give you all the glory. Tonight, you want to open up your mouth. You want to say, Father, I give you all the glory. The Bible says, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and and forget not all his benefits uh, tonight uh, you don't want to forget what god has done for you uh, but you want to open up your mouth uh, and say father thank 
you for delivering me uh, from the hospital bed. Uh, thank you, oh God, uh, for delivering me from that accident. Uh, thank you, oh God, uh, for keeping my family safe. Uh, it is you, oh God, who did it for us, uh, for what you have done for us. Uh, no man will do for us. Uh, the Bible says uh, the horse is prepared uh, against the day of battle, uh, but safety is from the Lord. Uh, tonight, as we lift up our voice, uh, we are saying, Lord Jesus, uh, take all the glory uh, as a people, as a church, uh, as we have gathered here. Uh, with one voice, Lord Jesus, uh, we say, take all the glory. Uh, open up your mouth wherever you are. Tonight, you want to join me. Uh, as as the name of the Lord, Le Candebe Bosha, La Prandele, Le Papayan Dabadaba. The Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 23 to 26, sing to the Lord all the earth, proclaim his salvation day after day, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Tonight we are saying, Lord, you have been great in our life. Father, we thank you. Tonight as we are praying We are praying for anyone that has to be here tonight We are saying spirit of the living God May you bring your children here safely We are coming against Every spirit that will hinder the children of God From coming to this place We are saying father We release your children Whatever has kept them in the household Father tonight Release your children May they come to this place. Uh, may they find their refuge here. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for the Bible says. Uh, the gathering shall be unto our God. Uh, tonight as we are praying. Uh, we are saying spirit of the living God. Uh, anyone that has to be here. Uh, may they not miss their visitation. Uh, make a way for them. Uh, where there seems to be no way. Uh, tonight. Uh, that somebody. Will have a touch from God tonight. Somebody will have a touch from God. Le kosha tababa, raba pa raba posha, er raba pa lakanda, ir raba pa raba pa, ran tababa, er raba pa yan tabada pa, rapa pa yan debe debe, er rapa yanda, makolo bosha tababa. Tonight, oh God, anyone that has to be here, Father, may they not miss their visitation. Rapa pa yan tabada pa, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are still praying. Romans chapter 4 verse 20 to 21. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to do. Amen. Tonight we are praying and we are thanking God in advance for what he's about to do for us in the year 2020. In the year 2021. Many were the plans that we had in this year. But we are still believing God. Uh, and we are thanking him. Uh, for the Bible says that he is able to do. Uh, tonight you want to lift up your voice. Uh, any expectation. Uh, you are saying father I believe you will do it. Uh, I am thanking you in advance. Uh, open up your mouth. Lift up your voice. Uh, you are saying father. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I thank you for my children. Uh, father I thank you. Uh, for the good job you are giving to me. Uh, even though I cannot see it now. Uh, I believe it. Uh, open up your mouth, lift up your voice tonight according to the word of God we are praying and we are declaring that every Thing that we are believing God for. Uh, this is the time uh, that the Lord will answer us speedily. Uh, tonight we are praying uh, and we are affirming in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are saying, Father, we thank you uh, for going ahead of us. Uh, we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you uh, that you have gone ahead of us. Uh, Bible says uh, in Isaiah chapter 52 verse 11 uh, for ye shall not go out with haste uh, nor go by flight uh, for the Lord will go before you uh, and the God of Israel uh, will be your reward uh, tonight you are lifting up your voice uh, you are saying spirit of the living God uh, I thank you for what you are about to do in my life uh, father thank you uh, for going ahead of me uh, father thank you uh, for being my reward uh, David said uh, by my God uh, I ran through a troop uh, and by my God uh, I scale over 
walls. We are saying, Father, we thank you. Every stumbling block the enemy has placed in our way, Father, we overcome it. In the name of Jesus, we see your goodness. We see your mercies in these days. We thank you, O oh God, for the expansion of the church. Father, we thank you that more souls are coming into this church. Father, we thank you for our lives, that our lives are moving from glory to glory. We bless your name. Tonight, as we are praying, we are praying and we are affirming according to the word of God. In Psalm 30, verse 11 to 12, the Bible says, Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and gathered me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praises unto thee. We are saying, Father, we thank you for removing our shame, for taking away our shame. We thank you, O God, for crowning us with glory. Lift up your voice, open up your mouth. Father, we thank you for what you are about to do in our lives. For the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Tonight you want to say, Father, I thank you that the word you have spoken concerning my life will come to pass. No witches, no forces will be able to stop it in the name of Jesus. Finally, you want to say, Father, I thank you that as I've come into your presence, 2021 will be a better year for my family. 2021, I will see the goodness of God, the message of God will speak for me. Open up your mouth, give him all the glory. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, but as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men, the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Tonight you are saying, Father, I thank you that my end shall be glorious. Father, I give you all the praise. I bless your mighty name in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together as we receive the praises and worship team. Amen. we go into a time of dance and praise we want to sing a very simple song we would like everyone to take his or her phone and put on the touch as we wave it to glorify the name of the lord we sing onyamiye amen can you put on the touch on your phones please amen hallelujah Oh, 
you want the music to continue, sir. Please, I'm easy today. I've declared that the music is the only thing we are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, give a shout to the Lord. And there's more music coming. In fact, the lion is here. Akesti Brimpo is here. You know, earlier on I told you that I hadn't really done this before. So I called a friend of mine and said, Charlie, this one watch my service. MC, you have to give me some Bible text out there. He sent me John 3.16. Oh, now, nah, Paul. Ah, this guy. I've given up on him. So I went to dig in for myself. And I found one text that has been speaking to me all year. COVID times, business, come see, come sir. Family, kids being sick, being home. Who here wants to run to their kids out of their house? Me, I want to. But I found one text. And that spoke to me. It simply says that none of my worry will, would ever make this Sakura an Afro. That I can worry and then what? No, no Sakura can turn an Afro. Because if I trust in the Lord... Everything shall work out well for me. Do you trust in the Lord? Do you trust in the Lord? I can't wait for today's message because when the message started to flow, I was in the vicinity and uh, it's interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, before I can say, before we take our offering and oh, please prepare. There are ATMs all around there. If it's Momo, please, the numbers will be flowing on our screen. Um, you have to contribute. You have to give willingly. You have to give openly. The Lord has done enough for you. Listen, if you check the number of people that died this year and you are still here, you must count yourself lucky. You must count yourself blessed. You must count yourself elevated. Think about it. If you have life, you have it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to the stage a little entertainment. They dance in their spirit. And they are twins. They come in double packages. Give it up for the high twins! No 
you must pray to do so this year. We got love the Lord, then serve the Lord, then give the best this year. Cause this year, dear. This year, dear. This year, dear. See, we stop with this. We got my strength, Charlie. This year. Give them a round of applause. As one Pamichawa may be. One Pamichawa may be. Hallelujah. Let's give them another round of applause. Well, every 31st December, we all try and to go to church. And very often we do that. To welcome the new year. But really, if you search through your heart, what you are really saying is that you want to come and thank God for taking you a full year and being ready to enter a new year. And very often, if someone does something for you that you appreciate, you thank that person. Not so. Hey. When people do good to us, we go to them and we thank them. Not so. And sometimes we thank them with gifts. Different types of gifts. Well, today I believe as you are here to thank God for taking you through a whole year. Despite the COVID and all the challenges, family, friends, work, everything. You've been able to survive the year. So you are here to thank God. But I know that in the days of old, in the Bible, as we all know, most often, any time somebody receives a blessing from God, they thank God. Very often, they build an altar and sacrifice on the altar. And that is their way of thanking God. 
Today, we may not sacrifice a lamp or something, but we thank God through our substance, our money, and everything. Now, why is thanking God very important or sacrifice very important? Very often, we may pray and pray and pray and pray about an issue and we are not getting an answer. I challenge you, if you find yourself in that situation, try a sacrifice by giving to God. We know the story of Abraham. He didn't have a child, even at the age of about 100. And then angels were passing by. He welcomed them to his home. He cooked for them. That was a sacrifice. He spent money. And then they said, next year by now, you have a child. Amen. So if you are here today and you've been praying and whatever, you are looking for something, my advice to you is thank God with a sacrifice. It doesn't have to be too big. Whatever your strength can give, that is what you must give. And I believe that God will bless you. God loves a cheerful giver. And so as the choir sings, the offering bag will come around. Please dip your hands into your purse, your pocket, whatever, and give a thanks offering to God. And God will richly bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are happy to be here this evening, I want you to give a mighty clap unto the Lord. Amen. And kindly dip your hands into your pocket and bring out a thanksgiving offering unto Jesus. Amen.
Now we are going to pray over the offering. Shall we pray? Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for a moment like this. That at the end of the year, we have come before you to say thank you. We have come to say thank you for the many things you have done for us throughout the year. And we have come with our tokens to say, take this, Lord, bless it, and use it for your work. Those of us who were not able to give, Lord, we pray that next time they will be able to give. And those of us who have given, we pray that you will bless it and bless our lives. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Junction Mall for the Faith Life Church watch night service. I think you should do that. That small message will be a difference in somebody's life in coming 2021. They need to cross over properly from this place. And I'm sure you can see the setup happening, band settling in, because as for music, huh. you know, one of God's greatest creations one of God's greatest gifts he gave ever in creation from angels, humans, whichever was music. In fact, the angel Lucifer could praise. The man that God says is after his own heart, David, the only description there ever in, that, in, in the Bible. He could praise without even looking left or right. He could praise until his nakedness. And when you are here and the music is playing, please, don't be like me. Don't hop still. You need to dance. Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to dance? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most celebrated soldiers of God, one of the most celebrated messengers of God from this country, the man who's taking an art form and elevated it into a message his ministry knows no bounds his ministry crosses boundaries his ministry touches everywhere i am proud another confession there's a similarity in his name you know when you meet the star you have to kind of find things like you know you draw out then you find a way yeah here yeah, now we share some small names so yeah me too i know celebrities Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our Kese Brimpo! Kesi Brimpong, known as The Lion, is a multiple award-winning artist, a prolific songwriter, and a preacher of the gospel. The gospel reggae and Afrobeat kingpin has proven his musical versatility with his many scintillating jams that continue to impact lives. He has been recently ranked number four of Ghana's 30 most influential online preachers. Over the years, he has successfully hosted the largest annual outdoor gospel festival. Agape Carnival together with his band Tribe of Judah. He's also a graduate student of the university. It's such an honor to be here tonight. If you are ready to get into the presence of the Lord, I just want you to stand to your feet, raise your hands to the Father and begin to bless his name. Isn't he a good God? Has he been faithful to you? Has he been merciful to you? Oh, if if the Lord ever healed your body in 2020, 2020, if the Lord ever showed you goodness and kindness in 2020, I need you to lift your voice and begin to give him some praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let it bubble from within. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name. You are a good, 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 good God. On la bako si bedo ni andara bako se desi. 
Oh, my God, Somebody, come on, give Jesus some praise. Lift him up, lift him up. All over this place, let the place resound with praise. Let it resound in worship. Hey, Abando Kosobalos. Worthy are you, Lord, to receive glory, honor, and praise. Worthy are you, Lord, to receive glory, honor, and praise. Worthy are you, Lord, to receive glory. And they are the Bacos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me cry, sorry. Not to jump, say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Somebody lift your voice and tell him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Me kwa so me ngato jong say oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm pa. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I said Papa be a mate, say oh yeah, oh yeah. I said Papa be a mate, me say Yesu. Oh your dog, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Papa. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lift your voice. Oh yeah, me kwa sorry not to do. Say oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I sit down in the yard
Lift your voice. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody lift your voice tonight. Come on, sing to your father. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, Kaye be yeteno, 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 Come on, sing to your father. Sing here where we're right here. Faith like church, lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. Yeah, where we're right here. Okay. David said that if it had not been for the Lord on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, let faith like church now say, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, the Lord who did not give us as a prey to our enemies kept us all through 2020 if it had not been for the lord on our side where would we have been would you just sing it to him Say ya well, 
Senye we radia wo boye wo ban Senye we radio wo boye wo ban Now if he has been a defense for you if he has been a provider you see if if he ever healed your body in 2020 I need you wherever you are to lift your voice Give him your loudest shout of praise, celebrate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are my reggae lovers in the house? Can I take you to Jamaica right now? Ask your neighbor, are you ready to go to Jamaica? If you are ready, say, yeah, man. All right, all right. Let me see you. Let me just see you do the skunking dance if you are ready. Every little thing. Here we go. It's gonna be all right. Say. Here we go now. Little darling, don't you cry. Brother man, dry your teary eyes Don't you know, God is by your side From side to side, let's go, come on uh, Through the fire, he will be there Through the storm, God will be there Through the rain, God will be there, yeah Take your baggage to the Lord in prayer
left to the right, everybody. Let me hear you say that. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, everybody. Now, if you believe it's gonna be alright for you in 2021, I need you to lift your voice and scream, celebrate. Come on. Now, tell your neighbor, God is working. He is up to something. I may not see it. Still, I'm trusting. If you are ready, let's go. Hey.
Can I get some people who believe that your laughter will be greater tonight in this place to lift your voice and say to the neighbor, say, neighbor, say, neighbor, I see your 2021 and it is so bright. You will need some sunshades. I see your 2021 and the glory of the Lord is upon your life. If you are the one that I'm talking about, if you are the one that I'm speaking to, if you are the one that I'm prophesying to tonight, I need you to give the Lord a crazy praise in the house. Yeah. Everything is gonna be alright. Every little thing is gonna be alright, man. Everything is gonna be alright. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Say to your neighbor. Tonight, I need some people in Faith Life Chapel to help me prophesy. Are there some people who can help me prophesy? Bible says that Ezekiel was carried into the valley of the dry bones. And Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord carried the prophet into the valley of the dry bones. And God said to Ezekiel, Son of man, can these dry bones live again? And I've come with that same question. Can the dry bones of your finances, the dry bones of your marriage, the dry bones of your education, the dry bones of your health live again? Are there some people who believe that God has the power to resurrect every bad thing in your life? Your career might be dead in 2020, but I came to prophesy that in 2021, you shall receive double for your trouble. If you are the one that I'm talking about, if you are the one that I'm prophesying to, I need you to lift one finger in the air and say, here we go, say that, say, a B A E F B B A R A B E F I A B B E F B B A R A B E F I say. Somebody celebrating the house. 
Now where are the Afrobeat people? The people who want to dance. One, a two, a three, here we go. Everybody, everybody, let me see you. You Somebody make some noise. Yeah. Oh, oh, are you blessed tonight? Now we want to do this last song called Blessed. In spite of everything that has happened to you in this year 2020, I still want to remind you that you are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, 
blessed when you come in blessed when you go out no matter what comes and goes you are blessed if you believe it come on give, give the lord a shout of praise in the house everybody everybody here we go yeah. Every morning I see Oh happy day You are taking my sins away Lord you shed your love on me Shed your love on me And you shine your light on me Shine your light on me Lord you shed your love on me Shed your love on me Yeah, yeah. And I can say that I am blessed I do me a shirami Shirami was shirami Washemi suwa kurami Wakurami, wakurami Atumyami ya shirami yo Shirami, washirami Wakomi mwakuwami Wakuwami, wakuwami Omo Jesu bless me Bless me, bless me Oluwa bless me Bless me, bless me Jesu bless me Jesu bless me Oluwa bless me And your mercy, they will follow me all of the days, the days of my life. Here we go, say goodness and mercy, follow me, kindness and favor, follow me, signs and wonders, follow me, yeah, nah. follow yeah, me. I am blessed. Hey, I'm more Jesus. Say, I am blessed. Everybody say, I am blessed. 
you feeling the blessing? Uh, we are about to enter different realms. I to thank you, illimitable God, doing wonders for us in the coming year. I want to say thank you for listening to us on Sunny FM. If you're tuning in right now, you're hearing from Faith Life Church live from the Junction Mall. And also if you're tuning in on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube on our stream, thank you very much for tuning in. It's our What Nice service. We're walking into 2021 a different people. You know, I have something I tell people that um, there's really no winning team without a captain. Every winning army in the Bible, in history, had a general, a strategist, a tactician, the one that leads the charge into the Bible. You see, we can't lead that charge into 2021 unless we are led. And it's time to bring the leader. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we be upstanding right now? I want, I want an illimitable, unending clap. An unending Pastor Daniel Yao Entry is the lead pastor of the Faith Life Church and is responsible for the vision, values, and culture of our church. He brings practical teaching with simple keys to living the maximized, extraordinary Christian life by making the Bible real and applicable to our everyday life. He shares on topics that are relevant to people of all races, ages, and genders. Pastor Daniel has a passion to add value to others out of the experience from his own Christian journey. His personal mission is to inspire faith, ignite hope, and break through barriers through preaching and the manifestation manifestation of the gifts of the spirit ladies and gentlemen with a round of applause and a standing ovation let's welcome our founding pastor pastor daniel yao entry amen Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah, give the Lord a shout of praise. Brothers and sisters, hear me. We began the year in January. There were some people who were stronger and more healthier than us. We went through February and some fell. Went through March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Hear me. During these times, COVID hit us. For the first time in many generations, they shut down mosques. They shut down churches. They shut down schools. They shut down everything that needed to be shut down. Because we are afraid of an unseen enemy. But no matter what the enemy brought our way, you and I survived. We overcame it. Therefore, we have every cause to praise the Lord. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, lift up your voice and give the Lord a shout. I can hear you. Give the Lord a shout. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you all to the Faith Life Church 31st Watch Night Service. Kindly take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like us to put our hands together for the minister, the lion, Akese Brimpong. Such a great blessing to the body of Christ. Such an awesome, awesome gift. But I think that our choir, Faith Life Collective, they did an amazing job. Come on, put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Oh my God, my God, my God. Hear me? It's just by the grace of God. 
our church was three years old December 17th. If three years old church and our choir can sing like this, wait for us, wait for us. Something is about to break forth in our house. Amen and amen. And I'd like to welcome everyone that has come into this place, all distinguished guests and all people who listen to us on Rise Up on Sunny FM. Those of you who came through OK FM and, and, and all those who came via invitation through any of the media, mediums that we use, we want to say thank you for coming. We want to say that God will bless you. Um, I'll do the thank yous when we close, but I want to preach quickly in this place and it will be a blessing to your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Very soon we'll be live on Sunny FM and, 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 and it's going to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Well, tonight I came with a word from the Lord. Next year, the theme for our church will be emerge. Somebody say emerge. It's time for the people of God to emerge. There must be of a necessity a distinction between those that are of God and those who do not know our God. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 that arise, shine, for the light has come. The world is afraid. And they are wondering what will be the outcome of our lives. I came to tell the world that the church has hope. And our hope is in the Lord. And the Bible says, Jesus said, because I live, you shall live also. I'd like you to know that the emergence of the church has come. The days where will be the light of the world has come. And get ready, somebody, you are about to emerge. Somebody say, I will emerge. And therefore, to emerge, I want to speak tonight on what I call switch to the word. Somebody say, switch to the word. I hope you can hear me. Well, I like you to interact with me. So, when I say it, do something, please do it. Amen. Somebody say, switch to the word. I think the people here, they didn't come to church. Say, switch to the word. I didn't say the world do. The W-O-R-D. The word. The word. The word. Hallelujah. Close your eyes. Let's pray. Spirit of the living God, I ask, O oh God, that you anoint the, this lips of clay. Speak to us by your word. Bring illumination and understanding to us. We ask, O oh God, that we will receive the spirit of understanding. Impact grace. May we be the light of our generation in Jesus' name. Somebody say, Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, in Psalm 49 verse 20, that the man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perisheth. Psalm 49 verse 20. The man that is in honor and knoweth not is like a beast that perisheth. A beast is an animal that must be fearful that, that should not beg for bread. When a lion shows up, we know that the lion is a strong beast that devoureth and no one can turn it off. Even Elephants are afraid of a lion. And yet the Bible is telling us that a man that is in honor and does not know that I am in a place of honor and that I must be giving preferential treatments wherever I go by the finished works of Christ and does not know, the Bible says he is like a beast that is perishing. In other words, because he does not know what he has, he loses ground and that at which must come freely to the person, they don't get it. A man that is in honor and knoweth not is like a beast 
Comparison. The scriptures have said in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16 that the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. This is a scripture that has impacted my life. He said, the man that is wandering away from the way of understanding, he shall dwell in the congregation of the dead. There are many of us, even though Jesus has died on the cross of Calvary for us, at night, instead of us sleeping, because the scriptures have declared that he gives sleep to his beloved, we are more fearful than the worldly people who do not know God. Our, our dependence is on man. Our strength is on man. And so you hear people that, that, that say, oh, this person was supposed to help me. That person must help me. And they did not do it. And so this is how my life must end. I came to tell you that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. Not so that you be a pauper or a beggar or be at the mercy of somebody's prayer. But that you and I will have equal access to God and ask him for the things that we deserve as his children. A man that wandered from the way of understanding shall dwell in the congregation of the dead. But I pray for you today that as we cross over into 2021, you will not wander from the way of understanding. You will dwell in the congregation of the living and not the congregation of the dead. Somebody say amen. We all know that having a gun in a battle is not a guarantee for victory. The fact that you hold a gun does not mean that you win. It takes a person who is skillful in the use of a gun to have dominion in the battlefield. Praise the Lord. In that same way, head knowledge of the scriptures does not change your life. The Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It did not say by head knowledge of the scriptures. God wants us to renew the way we think, the way we approach life, the way we handle issues. And in the place of being fearful, God is saying, switch to my word. Somebody say, switch to my word. Praise the Lord. David said in Psalm 119 verse 144 that the righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. He said, give me understanding and I shall live. More than ever, it's important that we receive understanding if we want to live. This week, I visited somebody and the person was so fearful. Why was this person fearful? Because the child is sick. And the person is shaking. Hey, 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 hey. It's like Pekomiasis has caught the person. And I'm like, where is your faith? The Bible says the just shall live by his faith. It is a personal pronoun. Your faith is what you will live by. Not your pastor's faith. The scripture tells us in Hebrews that by faith Sarah also received strength to conceive. For she, Sarah, judged God faithful that he who had promised, he's also able to perform that, that which he have said. So what you believe in determines what you can have access to. And the way you go about it is that you must switch from using head knowledge to what God has said in his word. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. 
And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Brothers and sisters, inside what God said was enough power to bring to pass what God has said. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the word of God, by the same creative word that brought light out of darkness, I speak into your life that where there been darkness, may the light of God begin to shine. Where hitherto in 2020 you struggled, may you begin to have an upper hand and a victory over that same space. Say amen. In verse 6, the Bible says, and God said. In verse 9, and God said. In verse 11, and God said. Verse 14, and God said. In verse 20, and God said. In verse 21, and God said. In verse 24, and God said. In verse 26, and God said. In verse 29, and God said. And watch this. In verse 31, look at it. Can you put it on the screen? The Bible says, and God saw. When you keep saying the word, when you keep speaking the word, it's just a matter of time, you will see what you've been saying. Our church is a young church. We began three years ago. On December 17th. When we began the church, I said, we would trust God for everything. And then we prayed the prayer that God, may you not give us things that we have the capacity to manage. Always give us things that others will see and say, this can only be God. And so right after one year, I began to say that we will have an outdoor event. The first year we could not do it. The second year, I came and surveyed the place. Two years old church. Our attendance was about 50 people. Two years, 50 people. I was thinking of an outdoor event that is as big as this one. Now, by the third year, when our church was two years old, in the, what, the moment we turned to, I wrote a letter and I said, at the third year, we will be at the Junction Mall and have our 31st watch night service. I did not know that COVID will come and they will say that social distance. Hear me, child of God. When you begin to speak the word of God, it may not make sense at the beginning. You may not have the capacity for it, but God created us in his image and likeness that when we begin to speak the word into any situation, the word of God will make a rumor. It will be a, a creative force that enters into that womb of destiny and created that which is not there. Because when God said, let there be light, there was light. I came to declare over your life, uh, next year by this time, according to the time of life, uh, you will conceive, uh, you own your own company. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. The heavens will open over your life. Uh, that at which have taken people 10 years, uh, 15 years, 5 years, 20 years to achieve. Uh, the God whose I am uh, and before whom I stand, he will make a way for you. Shout and receive it. Somebody say, and God saw. Brothers and sisters, inside what God said was a creative power to manifest what we now see. God said, let us make man in our image and likeness. Now, God is a very interesting God. He first creates the thing. Writes it down. And then he says, now that I have showed you how it is done. Let us create man in our image and our likeness. In other words, they must function like us. The Bible says, and God blessed man and said unto man, be fruitful and multiply. 
The word blessed means to be empowered to succeed under any condition. So when God blessed man, God was saying, man, I succeeded when the condition was not favorable. And so if you function in my order, you must not be afraid of the conditions because no matter what the condition is, I have told you the way. Speak the word. Switch from the focusing on the problem onto my word and speak my word into the situation. Tonight I came in the name of Jesus and I speak to that situation that they said it cannot be possible. I decree that it will be possible. Some people were afraid that there's going to be war in Ghana. Politicians this, hey, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. There's a scripture in the Bible. It says, alas, that day is great. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Hear me? When somebody calls you to tell you, I saw a negative vision about you. I saw this, so you must come for a country. Hear me? Tell the person, the word of God says, at last that day is great. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but I am assured that God will deliver me and save me out of it. The time has come where believers must emerge and show the world how we function in the order of God. Somebody says, switch to the word. Hear me? In Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, God said, I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. You see, God just speaks to us and the first thing God is saying to us is that I am I am what? The Lord. I change it not. Therefore you are not consumed. What does it mean? It means I cannot be consumed by plague. The word Lord according to Marian West Texas Dictionary says this a possessor of lands and territories. God is saying, wherever you dwell, I am in control of that land. That place where you dwell, I am the one who controls what comes in and what goes out. And because I am with you, go and sleep. Because you will never ever be consumed. Don't make decisions based on what the economy is saying. Make decisions because your God is by your side. You see, the word of God tells us that if thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and would do that that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all the statutes that I put, he said, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians. Hear me. God is saying the moment you start living right, the moment you give your life to him and submit yourself unto him. God is saying, the very things I permitted the Egyptians to experience. As for you, you will experience exemption. I am not afraid of COVID. I am not afraid of any plague. I am not afraid of the, of the gymnastics of politicians. Because hear me. As long as I am in Ghana, there can never be war in this nation. Why? Because the Bible says he gives sleep to his beloved. I am not leaving this nation and I will sleep in peace. Why? Because the word of God says he gives perfect peace unto those who trust in him. And so because I am here, the nation is secured and no weapon formed or fashioned against Ghana shall prosper. Why? The Bible says he frustrates the tokens of the, of the diviners. Let them divine. It will be frustrated. Why? Because I am here. Somebody said, because I am here. Hear me. 
child of God. We must switch to God's word. You see, God said, none of these diseases upon will I put upon thee, which I brought upon the Egyptians. Why? Say, for I am the Lord that he let thee. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Listen to me. Listen to me. God is saying, I am the Lord that heals thee. I am the one who heals you. What, what? See, he means that because I am with you, what I cannot permit cannot stay in your life. You know, sometimes the devil will show us visions and try to terrorize you because he wants you to align your confession with what he's trying to show you. And there are many of us, we don't sleep at night. And all we are doing is fire, die, fire, die, fire, die. Can I help you? The Bible says, surely they shall gather together, but not by me, say yes the Lord. God is saying, you cannot stop them from gathering. Stop wasting your time trying to scatter them because they've gathered. God's word said, no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper. But he said, and every tongue that rises up in judgment, that is no more my responsibility. Yours is condemning. You wake up in the morning and say, devil, hear me. No weapon formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. I would live. Why? Because the word of God says, blessed shall be my going out and blessed shall be my coming in. In the coming year, my prayer is that you will switch your mindset to what God has said. You will focus your energies on what God has said and not the symptoms in your body. Because feelings are not the truth. Ask any statistician, he will tell you that when you give them a set of numbers, they can skew the conclusion based on where their interest is. Are we not in Ghana? Are we not in Ghana? Recently, interesting things were happening. Based on who is mentioning. He said, oh, yes, we made a mistake. But the percentage remains the same. Why? It's the person who is declaring. Can you catch him? Or catch her? I am declaring. I said that this is it. In that same way, God said, whenever you are sick, let the weak say, I am. He said, I may be feeling a symptom in my body. But he himself took my infirmity and nailed it on the cross. I will not give attention to this symptom. Why? Because the word of God says, by his stripes, I am healed. Somebody says, switch to the word. Praise the Lord. See, your brother says, says, everything God said, God saw. Therefore, whatever God will say to you by his word, you must see it. I said you must see it. You know, some years ago, I used to have asthma. When I wee wee, when I wee wee, someone said, when I wee wee, <laughs> some few years ago, when I wee wee, something happens. Whenever I wee wee, blood comes. I was in a, they started doing a church in, my, in, my, in the house I was staying in. All of a sudden, one day I woke up. I used to have asthma. When I wee wee, blood comes. I came from the village to Akai. When I walk on the sun, blood comes from my nostril. Just being in the presence where they are talking about he himself took your infirmity and nailed it on the cross. And then they give us communion and we take. We take. Consistence taking of the communion, all of a sudden, the asthma disappear. All of a sudden, the wee wee of the blood disappear. All of a sudden, me that I used to stammer, it disappeared. Can I help somebody? Whenever you begin to engage with God's word, that at which you keep saying, you begin to manifest it. And it is my prayer that in 2021, you will begin to manifest the word of God in your life. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. See, brothers and sisters, God's word it is designed for your transformation. God's word is not just designed for your information. It is designed for your transformation. What do I mean? What I mean is that whenever you speak God's word, that word must of a necessity 
bring real transformation to your life. In John chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. He said, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. Watch this. In the word was the light of man. What it means is the word that you come in contact with, that is what will light your life. It will light your life. The Bible says in John chapter 6 verse 63. John chapter 6 verse 63. He said, it is the spirit that giveth light. Life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So whenever God's word is spoken, there is the impactation of life into your life. Church, let's stop being fearful. And receive God's word. We need to meditate on God's word. Until that word becomes a part of our life. In that new year. My prayer. Is that you will take God by his word. Your age notwithstanding. Your financial status notwithstanding. Take God by his word. Engage with the word of God. And all of a sudden you begin to see. Emergence of change of levels every area of your life. So the question you are asking is, man of God, what is inside the word of God? What is it that makes God's word so potent? I'm glad you asked. Number one, write it down. The wisdom of God is in his word. Psalm 104 verse 24 says, O Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. The earth is full of thy riches. Watch it. He begins by talking about the wisdom of God. And he says that because of your wisdom, the earth is full of your riches. In that same way, when you begin to grasp the wisdom of God, you begin to operate in that level of riches. The church they used to call us as poor as a church mouse. Why? Because we are only spiritual. We are not engaging in the instructional word of God. A lot of Christians we want to hear something. We just want the man of God to see something. We just want the man of God to acquantalize our life. You understand what I mean? Sometimes it's amazing. I pray for somebody. Then you ask yourself, Oh, me who be Hear me. The word of God is enough for whatever you want to achieve in life. Somebody say the word. Somebody say the word. Mm. Praise the Lord. You see, God's word has within it a creative force. God's word has within it a creative force. So whenever you speak God's word into a situation, that creative force within the word goes into manifestation to create that, that which is lacking in the place. And that is why the wisdom of God is in the word of God. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 19 says, the Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. By understanding has he established the heavens. Proverbs 3 verse 19. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. By understanding has he established the heavens. Somebody say, man of God, how, has, how does this scripture connect with God's word? Jesus equated the word of God to the wisdom of God. Jesus said in Luke chapter 11 verse number 49. I hope you are writing the scriptures. Luke chapter 11 verse 49. The word of God says. Jesus said. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. I will send them prophets and apostles. And some of, some of them they shall slay. And persecute. You see Jesus was referring to the word of God. As the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. Is 
the, 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 the word of God that is applied to a specific situation that you find yourself in. And God wants us to use his word, apply it to a specific situation, and then God goes into operation to manifest whatever it is that you are releasing it for. Praise the Lord. You see, for instance, there are a lot of us that we cry. We cry a lot, Erade, Ade, Erade. So we, we like songs that, is, that has a lot of complaints in it. Erade, Casa, oh, Casa, Casa, Madina, Yedi. Then we are crying. <laughs> it's it. You are crying from a place of ignorance. Why? Because in the kingdom of God, we don't complain. The scriptures have declared for those who are barren according to Isaiah 54 verse 1 the word of God says single barren woman you who never bore a child burst into singing shout for joy you who were never in labor because more are the children of the desolate woman than her who has a husband. You see it doesn't make sense that somebody who doesn't have a child instead of you crying and mourning that your child is not in God said, in the kingdom of God, whenever you are in a place where things are not being productive, you start dancing. You start singing. You start praising God. Why? Because the word of God says that with joy, you shall draw from the wells of salvation. Someone say, I will draw from the wells of salvation. Oh, I can't hear you. Say, I will draw from the wells of salvation. You see, the word of God tells us in Psalm 113 verse 9. Psalm 113 verse 9 says, He settles the barren woman in her home as a joyful mother to her children. Hallelujah. Listen to me. He settles it. So when you come to the kingdom and you want to operate in the kingdom, instead of you complaining, instead of you crying, the word of God assures us that he settles us. I speak over your life that God will settle you. I said I speak over your life that where you have not been productive, God will settle you. Say I receive it. You see, once again, let me say, in the kingdom of God, we don't complain. Why? 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 10 to 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 10 to 11 says, Neither complain as some of them also complained. And were destroyed by the destroyer. You see, he said, Now all these things happened to them as example, and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages have come. First Corinthians 10, verse 10 to 11. It means that whenever you complain in the kingdom, you open yourself for the destroyer to destroy you. We like complaining to my, hey, my father is not helping me. Hey, my uncle is not helping me. Hey, the president is not doing well. Hey, the opposition is not doing well. Hey, listen to me. Stop complaining. Because in the kingdom of God, we don't complain. We speak. We don't complain. We speak. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, in Matthew chapter 7 verse 24. He said therefore whosoever hears these sayings of mine. And does them. I will like him unto a wise man. Who built his house in a rock. So when I hear God's word. And I speak the word of God. God says he likens my life. To a wise person. Who is building a house. Hear me. It means the word of God. Spoken into a right circumstance. Built things for you that you inhabit. Uh, you didn't get it. Let me say it again. Right words. From the word of God. Spoken at the right time. It built for you. A tabernacle that you dwell in. And enjoy from. A house is a place of safety. It's a place of rest. So when you are confronted with a situation. And you speak the word of God into that situation. 
the word it will build you a house and it will cause you to dwell in that new house where you find rest in that situation say i receive it praise the lord amen for those of you who are listening to us live on sunny fm would like to welcome all of you i'd like you to know that we are the junction mall nungwa barrier and this program is coming to you live stay tuned connect your friends and let them hear the word of the lord hallelujah you see the bible calls you wise by following the instructions as detailed out of the scriptures so that what is lacking gets created by the word in proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 the bible says happy is the man that finds wisdom and the man that gets understanding so so jesus liking wisdom as the word of god so happy if i paraphrase it to be happy is that man that finds the word and the man that gets understanding in the word he said for her merchandise of it is better than the profits of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold verse 16 says length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor when you find the word of god the bible says length of days are in his hand you are too much afraid of death i am not afraid because i'm not dying now ah you didn't you didn't even say amen why the scriptures have said darkness shall not come nigh your dwelling when I said that because I am in Ghana, there can be no war, the whole place was quiet. It was because the word of God says, darkness shall not come nigh my dwelling. The word of God says, and I shall be the glory in the midst of them. And I shall be a wall of fire around them. And upon all the glory, there shall be a defense. Let me ask you a question. Are you a Christian? Oh, let me hear you. Are you a Christian? Do you believe that God dwells in you? Then there is a fire around your life. And because that fire is around your life, no evil befall our nation. Shout amen. Praise the Lord. You know, let me sh show, you, show you some few scriptures and I'll leave you. Watch this. In Proverbs chapter 9 verse 11, I like scriptures, forgive me, amen. Because, because you see, the time has come where we must, we must engage with the word and know this. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 11 says, For through wisdom, your days will be multiplied and years will be added to your life. Through what? Through wisdom. What, what wisdom? The word. Through the word of God, the Bible says, your days will be multiplied. He says, and your years will be added. He says, and will be added to your life. I'm not dying now. Somebody say, I'm not dying now. Hallelujah. So, how does this word work? When I find the word, how does it work for me, man of God? Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. He says, a merry heart does good like a medicine. But a broken spirit dryeth the bones. When you are happy, the Bible says that a merry heart... He do it what? Good like medicine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. A merry heart do it good like medicine. But a broken spirit dryeth the bones. It means that every time you should be happy. Why? Man of God. Things are not going well. I don't have to be happy. The truth is when we're going to do this, this program. Somebody called me to give me a good advice. He said, Daniel. Covered time, as of when you now are using wisdom to live, you can't be wasting money like this. Hey, hey, hey waster, so saved, oh, hey, waster. Hear me, child of God. The Bible says, if you observe the wind, you will not sow. There's a scripture in the Bible, and let me quote it in Job chapter five, verse twenty-two. The word of God says, "At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh." He said destruction and famine as for you, you must laugh why? because
Because with joy, you shall draw from the wells of salvation. Hear me. The time has come where we don't have to worry. Watch this. He said, Job chapter 5 verse 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Hear me, child of God. Don't be afraid of anything in 2021. Be daring. Take giant steps. Do big things for God. Celebrate the goodness of God every day. When you don't have a job, dress well. Step out there. One of these days, the word said, I will go before you. Cause the crooked ways to be made straight. I will open unto you the two living gates that it cannot be shut. Hear me, child of God. When you engage with the word, and you switch from focusing on what is not working to the word, the word of God will create that which does not exist and make room for you. Shout amen. Shout amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 25, he said, I will make with them a covenant of peace and rid the land of wild animals so that they may dwell safely. Hear me. God said, because you are there, I assume the responsibility to drive away all the animals. All the wild beasts, I will assume the responsibility to drive them. But what are you doing? You are already afraid. You don't know what to do. You are always afraid. You are always wondering, hey, witches are coming. Hey, demons are coming. Hey, no, 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 no. Tell a neighbor, it's an error. Why? The word of God says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. My responsibility is to rejoice. His responsibility is to protect my life. Mine is to dream. His is to provide for the vision that he has put in my heart. Why? The Bible says there's a spirit in man, but the inspiration of the Almighty gives understanding. When God inspires your heart to take up a step uh, in the coming year, know that your God will provide. Stop thinking small because you're in Ghana. We all want to travel. Hey, I want to go to America. Hey, hear me. Every day, aeroplanes land in Ghana. Foreigners come. What do you think they are coming to look for? Green pasture. Yet you are living here and say you are going for greener pasture. Hear me. A man that wandered from the way of understanding shall dwell in the congregation of the dead. A word to the wise is in Mokola. Mokola. Praise the Lord. It's time that we begin to engage with God. It's time that we emerge. You must emerge. You must get up. You have been at the backside for too long. You have been, you have been waiting on others to help you. But God wants you to get up because he said he is the one who will help us. God is the one who touches the heart of people to favor you. You are not the one who pray and, and choose who must be a blessing. And in the coming year, I want you to engage with the word of God. But if you don't know Christ, that becomes a big problem. Because as many as receive him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God. All I've been preaching, I'm preaching to those who are the sons of God. What do I mean? Those who have accepted him into their life. You know, if a lady is walking and she's beautiful. You can like her at a distance. Charlie, I like this sister. She's very nice. Oh, the last time when I went to Auntie Muni, the way the sister was serving the watch, I saw that if I marry this watch seller, I have a next level blessing because I wouldn't have to buy food. Yeah. Hallelujah. When I was growing up, one of my greatest dreams was to become a houseboy. Why? Because, because, because I used to watch um, Thursday theater. And anytime when they sit at the table and they are eating, they all don't eat the food. 
then they will leave their food. In those days, I used to be hungry. And, and, so, and so I said that, me, that me, I'm a house boy. God's vision for me was bigger than that. But I was looking at my current circumstance and my greatest desire was that. But the word of God says, when you come to Christ, as many as receive him, as many as come into a relationship with him, he gives you the power to become a child of God. Once you become a child of God, whatever he has written in his word, that becomes your covenant promise. And whichever one you engage in, that word starts working for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. So when you are faced with evil, 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3 must speak for you. He says, but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3. When you come into a relationship with him, he says, but the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. So that you walk with such confidence, assurance, knowing that your God will protect you. I speak over your life today. That from this day, you have the consciousness of God. I said, I speak over your life today. That you have the consciousness of God. That wherever you go, like he said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, you will be strong and courageous. You will not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And when you lose anything, he says, and I will restore the years that the locust, the caterpillar, the cankerworm, and the palmer worm have eaten. Hear me, child of God. God wants to give you a chance to life. A chance to rededicate your life to him so that this covenant inheritance that he has put in the scriptures, you will be a partaker of it. I came from the village. I used to learn how to be a fetish priest. They used to play Asantrofia Numae Abuabe Nyo. Asantrofia Numae Abuabe Nyo. Ukuna Musio. What kind of nonsense song is that? And then we are dancing. Came to Accra. All I knew was that. But I did not know that there was a better promise with better covenant. When you are an idol worshiper, don't eat this. Don't drink this. Don't do that. Don't do this. But when you come into the covenant promise of God, God begins to do something great and something extraordinary for your life. Today, I want you to engage with God. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to seek the face of God. Maybe you are in this place. You used to be on fire for God. But now, nah. Because you put your trust in a man and the person disappointed you. You used to be like me. So many years ago, I used to go to Church of Pentecost. And then, a lady in our house, who used to be very spiritual, got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, a lot of things was going on. I said, oh, all these Christians, they are hypocrites. I won't serve God again. So I stopped being a Christian for years. Then one day, on the 31st like this, a friend of mine introduced me to a church. He took me to ICGC, Dr. Otabel's church. When we got to the place, they gave an altar call like this. I raised my hands to God. And I de dedicated my life to him. And I said, Lord, from this day, I will take you at your word. It is your word and not a human being. I will not live my life based on somebody's attitude, but based on your covenant promises. When I gave my life to Christ, every other thing changed. That guy who was learning how to be a fetish priest in the village, who came to Accra, when he gave his life to Christ, God have changed my life change things in my life and today my life is a blessing wherever you are close your eyes you want to rededicate your life to christ because to engage with the word it begins it begins it begins with you giving your life to christ 
Wherever you are, if you want to give your life to Christ, raise that hand up. Wherever you are, God bless you, raise that hand up. Stand to your feet wherever you are. You want to give your life to Christ, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet wherever you are, stand to your feet. I gave my life to Christ and the rest is history. I gave my life to Christ and favors have followed me. Blessings have followed me. God has given me opportunities beyond my wildest imagination. That guy who had no hope, today God has given me hope. Wherever you are, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. There are more people that must give their life to Christ tonight. Tonight is the night of your visitation. All that I said, that you have to speak the word, that power is only given to you when you have a relationship with him. It's like you proposing to a lady. You cannot just go and see how beautiful she is. You must accept, you must ask her out. And when she accepts, she becomes your girlfriend. By asking God out, it means you give your life to him. And say, Father, come and live in my heart. When you do that, it comes into your life and it changes your life. Wherever you are, take your bag, take your pen. Please come forward. Come forward quickly, quickly, quickly. Because sometimes when you stand in this place and raise your hands, a supernatural thing happens to your life. Take your bag. Please clap your hands. Clap your hands as they come. Clap your hands as they come. Clap your hands. Keep on coming. There are about 10 people that God is calling you. You don't know the day where God wants to visit you. I did not know that that was the day of my visitation. Come on, keep your own, clap your hands up. Walk to the altar. Maybe you used to go to church. You used to be a Christian. But all of a sudden, for some time now, you are no more on fire for God. God is calling you right now. Walk to the altar right now. Walk to the altar. Rededicate your life to God. You are saying, Lord, as I come into the new year, let it be a new year with new possibilities. Let it be a new year with new opportunities. Come on, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. As they come, the more people are coming. Wherever you are, give your life to Jesus. He's calling you tonight. He's saying that, don't waste your life. Uh, I can do a new thing with your life. Uh, I can do a new thing with your life. Keep on clapping. Those of you here, raise your hands to heaven. Well, you are there. Maybe you are feeling shy. Say you won't come. You can still lift up your hands wherever you are. We are all going to pray that prayer of dedication. We're going to rededicate our life to him because we want him to come into our space. We want to switch to the word, which is Jesus. We want him to be our Lord. We want him to be our personal savior. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Say, I'm sorry for all my sins. Lord Jesus, from this day, I receive you as my Lord and personal savior. Thank you that my sins are forgiven. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for these ones that have given their life to you. And everyone that has rededicated their life to you. I ask, oh God, that in the name of Jesus, you, oh God, who is the keeper of our lives, you will preserve every life in this place. You will deliver them from evil. You will preserve their life and bless them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Keep putting your hands together. And um, please um, follow the gentleman. Do just take your details. And after that, we'll come back into this place. Okay. We are going to take our offering now. We're going to take our offering. We need to pray. We're going to take our... Okay, we're going to take our offering and after that I'll come and then we'll pray and speak into the year. Amen. And please, in this church, we honor God by giving our offerings in envelopes. The seats you sat on, there were envelopes on it. You have two envelopes, just pick one and put your offering in that envelope quickly. Wherever you are, put your offering in that envelope. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready to praise God? Then let me hear you shout. Woo!
crucial time, no movement. We have barely 10 minutes to cross over into a new year. God said to Job, have you commanded your mourning since thy days began? The word of the Lord has come to us and everyone within the sound and reach of my voice in this place. Next year is the year for you to emerge. Next year, your gift will emerge. Next year, your blessings will emerge. Next year, your promotion will break forth. Next year, your opportunities, your divine health will break forth. Hear me, we are going to lift up our voice in prayer. No movement, no movement. So everybody stable. If you see somebody moving, suspect the person. Hallelujah. But we want to pray in the name of Jesus. We want to speak into the year. Open up your mouth and speak into the coming year. You have just 10 minutes to go. You want to lift up your voice. In fact, we have just 8 minutes to go. Open up your mouth. Begin to speak into 2021. You want to speak into the month of January. You want to declare grace upon that month. Huh? You want to pray gr for grace. Huh? Grace to pick up new signals. Huh? Grace to pick up new beginnings. Huh? Grace to pick up signals for new beginnings. Huh? Ideas for life. Huh? Visions for life. Open up your mouth and pray. We are lifting up our voice in prayer. Declare it in the name of Jesus. The God that helped Peter in Acts chapter 10 verse 9 to 15 uh, may you pick up signals for a new dispensation the God that helped Moses uh, in Exodus chapter 3 verse 2 to 4 had the burning bush experience uh, for a redirection of his destiny I pray in the name of Jesus that in the coming year that grace will come upon your life uh, that God will give you his mandate for your life uh, under the influence of the Holy Spirit I ask oh God that uh, may you pick up signals uh, receive grace to pick up signals uh, to pick up ideas uh, to recognize new beginnings uh, to recognize new opportunities uh, you are saying Lord I'm beginning the month of January with a blessing you are a cameraman you are a sound engineer you are a contractor you are a plumber you need ideas for life you are a finance person you want clarity for your life open up your mouth and pray we have few minutes to go Open up your mouth, lift up your voice and pray. We are praying for grace to pick up signals. Uh, receive grace for unusual liftings in the coming year. In the name of Jesus, uh, where things have been difficult for you in 2020, in the coming year, receive grace. Uh, receive the help of God. Receive grace to push through where marriage has been difficult. Receive uh, grace for lifting in the marriage. Uh, there shall be no divorce uh, in this new year in 2021 there shall be no divorce in your life receive the wisdom of god receive uncommon favor receive divine attraction open up your mouth and pray we are lifting up our voice uh, we are praying uh, where business have been tougher and careers have been challenging i decree in the year 2021 unusual liftings in your career unusual liftings in your business uh, in the name of jesus i receive for someone here the blessing of open heaven I receive for someone here the blessing of open heaven open up your mouth and pray and say Lord let there be open heavens in my life I declare that this year 2021 as I enter within the next five minutes I will enjoy consistent open heavens in the name of Jesus the Bible says ah in the 600th year of Noah's life uh, the heavens open I speak over your life uh, this year the heavens will open you will experience open heavens uh, the blessing of God will be released uh, open up your mouth uh, the heavens will open for you in unusual dimensions uh, the heaven will open over your home uh, it will open over your family in the name of Jesus it will open over your business in the name of Jesus there shall be unprecedented supply of the Holy Spirit you will not be stranded 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 the glory of God will come upon you that God who is the glory and the lifter of your head he will shine on your path speak into your life uh, this year you will not walk in darkness you will enjoy unusual open heavens in the name of Jesus 
this day I declare the blessing of new company new partnerships over your life open up your mouth and pray open up your mouth and pray open up your mouth and pray the blessing of new company new partnerships every form of partnership that will take you to your next level is being released has been released I decree that the time and opportunity will happen for you hey you will not miss it you will not miss your time you will not miss your opportunities God will order your steps in this new doors new company new partnerships speak it now speak it now new doors new companies new associations open up your mouth I declare the blessing of new platforms the blessing of new platforms hey the Lord who led Isaac to dig a well he will bring you new platforms new platforms of expression new platforms of expression new platforms of expression open up your mouth lift up your voice the blessing hey you will dig new wells in the face of affliction you will dig new wells in the face of calamity you will dig new wells you will plant new 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 you will dig new wells that's a release of grace for new platforms I declare great and effectual doors are open receive new doors receive new doors receive new doors new favors new opportunities open up your mouth you have 43 seconds open up your mouth I declare great doors open open the blessing of a fruitful mind new ideas new ideas now lift up your voice begin to speak ah as you go into 2021 receive grace for new direction for accuracy in direction now let's all count ten nine eight six five Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hey! Hey! Lebe katabros katariados. There's the emergence of a new group of people. The blessing of open heavens is on our lives. The blessing of uncommon favor. New doors are opening. As it goes up, light will shine your way. New platforms, fruitful mind, divine ideas, 
grace for accuracy in decision making receive it peace divine health divine exemption territorial takeover shout and favor seven times I see your life shooting like the rocket. Yes. I see your destiny. Yes. Moving to the next level. I decree by the word of the Lord in my mouth. So shall be your destiny. You will succeed. You will go forward. You cannot be stopped. It's time for your lifting. It's time for your acceleration. You will accelerate. Shout and receive. I receive it. And do not Kenya coupon, and I see Kenya me, and to Trum Kenya me. What's up on some only you don't want to know? And do not Kenya coupon, and I see Kenya me, and to Trum Kenya me. What's up on some only you don't want to know? Oh! 
Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Listen, listen. In the new year, we must provoke covenants of blessings. I declare you are blessed. I declare you are favored. I declare you will go forward. You will prosper. It shall be well with you. Let's take our communion quickly. See, listen, it's very important. Hold on, hold it, hold it. It's very important. We are not going. We are going to take our communion quickly. So that, see, it is a fortification. Some people will go to shrines and look for stuff. But as for us, we will take communion. And it will be a blessing. How many of you want it? Well, let's the communion, communion be ready quickly. We're going to take our communion from this table. We're going to take the communion. The communion is a covenant with God. He said, do this in remembrance of me. We're going to dance. We're going to praise God. But please, don't go. Let's take the aid. But listen to me. Whilst they get ready for it, our church is a young church. It's a young church. We are just three years old. And I'm just a young man with a great vision to do great things for God. We want to encourage people to partner with us. I'm looking for covenant ministry partners. You don't have to be a member of our church to be a ministry partner. We, our church just turned three, but we've already been on radio for almost three years. We are on Sunny FM. We've been on Sunny for almost a year. I think we've passed a year now. Yeah. We used to be on XYZ. We're there for two years. On Sunny FM, we've been for one year. A young church, but with great vision and doing things for God. What do you do? What do you do? Help by committing to be a covenant partner of this ministry. And, and, what is it? So, um, one second, please. We're going to pray over these covenant communions. Okay. So please, if you want to be a covenant partner to this ministry, because next year, we are coming back to the Junction Mall. How many of you love it? Next year, we are coming back. Hallelujah. We'll come back and come back and come back and come back and come back again. Hallelujah. So if you want to be a covenant partner, we'll just give you a card. So just wave to us or you can stand or you can raise your hand and Osha will bring you a, co a card and then we'll serve you. Oh, nobody's raising their hands. Oh. Okay, one person, two people. Please at the back, three. Please, where are the ushers? Are they the same people holding this or there are ushers there? Quickly, quickly run to the people. I need some of the leaders to help. Go to the back and help with those things. And, and every, please, if you want to be a covenant partner, raise your hands help us you can do monthly you can do weekly you can do quarterly or or every six months or once in a year you give us something to support this work push this ministry forward amen yeah when we left where we were serving we have been serving for almost 19 years when we left we did not go with one church member but see what the lord has done amen uh, come 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 inside come, come. let's pray about it let's yeah. This is my beloved wife. She, she, uh, yeah. Uh, when, we, when, when we started the church, we were begging people to sing for us. When nobody would, she stood and took the mic one day and grace came upon her head. And today she's singing. Put your hands together for the God who gave her grace. Amen. Amen. God bless you and your team. You've done a good work. Let's pray over the, over the communion. Father, you said we should do this in remembrance that you paid the price. So that we walk in freedom, enjoy liberty. Anybody that is sick in this place, as they take the communion, at the instance of the communion, let disease leave anybody with any form of blood clot or any form of disease. By the taking of the communion, let the sickness go. Let the sick be healed. Let all kinds of challenges be corrected. We provoke a covenant of divine protection. This year, we'll go forward. This year, we will prosper. This year, by this covenant, our body is immune to disease and limitations. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, please quickly share, 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 share it, share it, share it, share it. Share it quickly. Please take, take one, take one. Yeah. You yourself, just take one. Yeah. 
Um, the ushers have gloves on their hands, so don't be afraid. Just they have gloves on their hands, so maybe just pick it for them or something. If you have a glove on your hand, I think you can pick it for them. If you have, you have gloves on your hand, pick it for them. What is in the communion? The life-giving force of God, isn't it? What is in the communion? The covenant of divine health. The life of God, isn't it? Wherever you are, stand to your feet. We're going to take the communion in honor of the Lord. Quickly. Whilst you are sharing the choir, give us a song. Begin to pray and say, Lord, let this be that covenant that protects and preserves me for the rest of my life. Open up your mouth and pray. Can you test of the righteousness? Come to Jesus now. Can me broken hearted? Come to Jesus now. He will test of the righteousness. Come to Jesus now. Because he is the bread of life the living water come, come to jesus, jesus now he is the bread of life the living water come, come to jesus, jesus now that life yes yeah he bad yes Please, when you open the rabbi, you get the bread, some small bread like that. I deliver unto you that that which I've received. Lord Jesus, in the night in which was betrayed, he took bread. And after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body which was broken for you. As often as you do this, you do show forth the Lord's death and his own coming. When you are taking this, know that there's a spiritual exchange that is taking place. Whatever used to be broken in 2020, by the taking of this communion, there's a restoration of whatever was broken. Amen. Whatever you could not achieve, your body that could not function, the insulin that was low in your body, whatever it is that the doctor said it was a problem, at the instance of the body of Christ, an exchange is taking place. Father, we thank you for this bread of life. As we eat, let the life-giving force of God enter into our body in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody eat Amen. the bread. Eat the bread. Eat the bread. The bread. Somebody say the bread. The bread. Hallelujah. Well, somebody take the communion drink. Or oh, this is not wine. No? It's communion. Shemema. <laughs> communion. Wine. Raise it above your head, please, everybody. Father, this is the blood of Christ. You shed your blood for the forgiveness of our sins, but also that we walk in newness of life. Enjoy the liberty that Christ brings our way. Today we stand in the liberty where with Christ have set us free. We will no more be entangled by every limitation. At the instance of the blood, let every plague pass before us. We'll go through 2020 and every life will be intact and preserved. There shall be no loss of life by the instance of the blood. You said, when I see the blood, the angel of destruction will pass over you. We're taking the blood. Mark us for greatness. Mark us for preservation. Mark us that no evil will befall us in Jesus' name. Take in the blood of Christ. Now, close your eyes. Lay your hand on your tummy or on your chest, wherever you want to lay. Just lay your hand. I'm going to pray a prayer for you. Spirit of the living God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children. I ask Holy Spirit, the, the angel of the Lord is in this place. Spirit of God, move by your spirit. Heal the sick. We command disease to leave. We command infirmity to leave. We command cancer. We command tumor to leave 
in the name of Jesus we decree and declare the healing balm of Jesus we command blessings we command favors let every life be preserved let destinies be preserved in Jesus name I seal your life with the covenant blessing of God I preserve you to go through 2021 without struggle without limitation without sickness without that that which has fought against your life I decree that you are preserved favored blessed and in this year you will emerge I speak over your life the blessing of heaven you will go out of this place with God's covenant blessing the blessing of open heavens the blessing of a fruitful mind the blessing of uncommon testimonies the blessing of new partnerships the blessing of new platforms the blessing of open doors of accelerated progress I bless you with the blessing of a man of God this year you have an uncommon testimony you will experience divine transformation in Jesus name say amen, amen. okay please the forms the forms for the kingdom partners if they failed ushers please take the forms of the kingdom partner for the kingdom partners is it for or off next year please next year every year we do three conferences number one is starting on the 7th of january it's called rise up it is 21 days of fasting and prayer listen to me i'm, I'm just you can just sit down let me just give you this little announcement you get up and dance and dance and dance we are going to have 21 days of fasting and prayer. It's starting on the 7th to the 27th of this month, January. Then in the month of August, please, if they can put it on the screen so that I can see the, the, the date. In the month of August, we have testified. It's 14 days of fasting and prayer. We experience all kinds of uncommon miracles in those services. And then in December, we have faith dimensions november we have faith dimensions conference please everybody on your chair we put a flyer there there's the brochure of our church and the flyer of all our various conferences within the year please keep it and we want to invite you on sunday we'll make available a bus here that will take people to church sunday morning service starts at nine a.m. 9 a.m. A bus will be here picking people to come to church. We want to, it's going to be just wear whatever you are comfortable in and come to church. Hallelujah. I think we should call it a dress down service so that everybody will feel comfortable and come. Wear what you want to wear and just come. Let's celebrate God. It's the first day of the year. If you don't go to church, like when my father was alive, he only goes to church first of January. Please this Sunday, we'll make a bus available here. We'll put the Faith Life banner on it and you'll look, recognize it and come. I want to thank everybody that I've served. I want to thank Emmanuel Efo Jakbasu. I want to thank Anita. I want to thank Rudy. I want to thank our, our, our choir. You've done extraordinary well. Um, 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 Kobe. Kobe, we have to... We, see, come, come, come. Come. this young man this young man sacrifices so much for our church I think somebody should buy him a car he comes all the way from Kaswa yes that's where he stays and sometimes he has to sleep in the church just to do it he's been good he's been good look at the choir he's just 3 years old and look at it I think you should put your hands together for him it's a great blessing God bless you God bless you we appreciate you God bless you we want to thank our media team, um, Brother Kingsley and his team. We want to thank, is it Freddie or Frank, um, as a sound guy, I don't know his company's name, but God bless you and everybody that has come. We want to thank most especially the police, the police. Put your hands together for the police. They've been around, they've been consistent, they've been protecting us. We want to also thank the ambulance team. We have an ambulance here. Oh, put your hands together, put your hands together. We also have the National Fire Service in the house. Come on, put your hands together for them. Want to thank everybody that came. 
God bless you. Mr. J, God bless you. I love you very much. I want to thank Anthony Gansa. That's the guy sitting there. Pastor Anthony Gansa. He's the one who has been doing all our designs for us. God bless you. He's a man of God and a graphic designer. Thank you all. I want to thank Akese Brimpon and all the guys who have been serving. From here on out, is there going to be another offering? No. Okay. It's going to be It's going to be dancing. It's going to be enjoyment. It's going to be boogieing. So I release the blessing of God on your life. I release the protection of God on your life. I send you forth with the covenant blessing of God. Let God bless you. May you be favored. This year, experience exemptions. Experience preferential treatment. This year, you will marry. This year, you will conceive. This year, you buy your new car. This year you get your own house. This year you rent your first apartment. I decree over your life. In the year 2021, you will emerge. Your testimony will emerge. Amen. I love you. This has been Faith Life Church, 31st Watch Night at the Junction Mall. My name is Pastor Daniel Yao. H. I love you. Yeah. Bye bye.